What is up guys? Alex from Creates here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about the latest update from Synchro Arts, which is Vocaline Project 5, which is a massive update that finally brings Smart Align technology to Vocaline Project. In this video, I'm gonna go over the interface and controls of the plugin, as well as a workflow within Logic Pro X using ARA technology. ARA is available in Logic 10.5.1 or later. If you're looking for an overview and a workflow using Pro Tools, go check out my video on that, which will be linked in the description below. So let's dive into Logic and I'll give you an overview of the plugin as well as a simple workflow to get you started. So before you get started in Logic, I would highly recommend making a duplicate set of the tracks you're about to alter or making a track alternative with the unedited audio, just a flip away, easily accessible. Because once you bounce the tracks that you're working on with the vocal line processing on them, there are sometimes some glitches and sometimes you just have to do a little bit of babysitting. So it's really nice to have the original audio uh, easily accessible at the same time as normal so that you can flip back and forth and grab breaths or little bits of words that you have to re-alter after the fact. Because while well, Vocaline is pretty good, it's not perfect, so it's nice to have those to patch up any mistakes that Vocaline makes. What I have here in the session is the first track, these red tracks here, are the timed vocals. I've already timed this with the track the way that I want all of the stacks to work. Then below that, I have all the different stacks of vocals that I want to align with this aligned guide vocal. Now, as you can see, especially over here, there are some little bits here that are only on certain tracks. And then at the end, we also have a couple tracks that, that it, it matches perfectly here. It doesn't match there. It only matches half of it there. And then it matches the middle of it there. So it's all over the place. This is where the new smart align technology comes into play, which I'll show you in a moment. So the first thing we're gonna do is select the guide vocal track that we want to work with and in the mixer window the very first audio effect that we put on that track, we're gonna put on an instance of Vocaline Project 5. So it's gonna be in audio units and then find Synchro Arts and Vocaline Project 5 and pick ARA. So then we are met with this Vocaline interface and it is resizable so you can move it around depending on what you need to see. Just grab the little tab at the bottom right hand side. So what we're gonna do first is we're actually gonna make sure we hit this little chain button here because we only wanna see one instance instance of this. And with the ARA technology, we can bounce around between what's actually being manipulated within one uh, visual instance of the plugin. So the way that Vocaline is laid out is that we have the guide track, the dub track, and then the output track. Up above, we have the preset selector because they, they do come with a few different presets and you can save your own, but there's not a lot of settings. So I typically just alter the settings depending on what I need. And then on the right hand side, we have the actual settings that we can manipulate for the audio. So the the first thing that we're doing, as we know, we've selected the main guide vocal. So we're gonna capture the guide vocal into Vocaline Project. Now the way that Vocaline works is you have the guide vocal, which is the vocal that is just what you want everything to match up to. And then you have the dub track, which is the track that is actually aligning to the guide vocal. So the guide vocal doesn't actually get manipulated, it's just the dub vocal, and then that gets put automatically onto the track that you were altering. Now with the ARA technology, it automatically updates the audio on the track until you actually bounce it out of that track, which is actually pretty neat. So as you can see, now we've captured the guide vocal. And if you want to move around on these tracks here, you can use the option or alt key and your scroll wheel to zoom in and out, or you can use the shift and scroll wheel to zoom left and right. The next thing we have to do is select all of the different tracks that we want to align with this vocal. And you need to make sure that they do actually match and that they do have audio to match. Otherwise you're gonna run into some weird issues where it doesn't know where to put the audio. Then what we're gonna do is once you've selected all those tracks and all of the regions within those tracks, we're gonna go and put again, the first audio effects insert. We're gonna put another instance of vocal line product Project 5 on each of these tracks. So again, into Synchro Arts, Vocaline Project 5, ARA. So once that pops up and we make sure we are still selecting all of the tracks. Now I've obviously made them one file per track, so it's very easy, but make sure you've selected all of the regions on that track. Then we're gonna hit 
capture within this one instance of Vocaline project. It's going to do its thing and capture all of the different ones, and it's going to actually process them right away with the settings that are already on screen. You can manipulate the settings beforehand or after the fact as well. Depending on how many tracks you've got, this could take a moment, but you'll see on the output it has the little processing circle going on, and once that's done it'll say ready. So now what we're looking at in this interface is we have the guide vocal, which we can see here. We have the dub vocal, which is whatever the track is that we've it's selected. And then we have the output where we see the outline of the guide vocal on top of the processed what it's done to the dub vocal. Now, if you right click on the dub vocal, you can see which one you're actually selecting, or you can go and actually just select the different track and you'll see it repopulate here so we can see that in this one plugin. So what we have to do is alter the settings to make it as tight or as loose as we want it to be. The first thing that we have is the match timing button, which is a way that we can just toggle on and off whether it's actually working or not. It's kind of like a bypass button, but typically you're going to want it on, obviously. The max difference, which is you know, how tight or loose you would like the vocal. So all the way to the tight setting is zero milliseconds. It's going to try and align it within zero milliseconds of where it thinks is perfect. And the more you dial it to the left, the looser it'll allow it to be, making it a little closer to what it originally was. The next setting is the alignment rule. And this is just kind of a different algorithm as to how much it's going to allow it to alter. So normal flexibility is probably fine for most things. High flexibility is where it starts to maybe allow it to, you know, uh, give, there might be some artifacts, it might push it a little bit too far, but it's going to make it as tight as possible. Normal flexibility is probably where you're going to want to set most things. They also have normal flexibility plus pitch, which basically tries to take long notes that have pitch fluctuation in them and line the pitch fluctuation up itself. It detects the pitch itself. I haven't found a lot of uh, success with this, but it's there to try out if you need to. If you have a lot of long legato notes, this might be an option to try and see if that helps. We're just going to put it on normal flexibility. As you can see, I updated that, and it is it redid the calculations on this. Now, the one thing to note is I only selected one when I changed this setting, which means that's the only one that got the setting changed. If I select a different one, you can see now it's back to high flexibility because on this track, it's high flexibility. Flexibility. So if we want to change all of them, we have to select all the ones we actually want to change. So I want to change all of these to normal flexibility, which means I need to select all those tracks, all those regions, again, and make it normal flexibility. It's going to render a lot faster this time, but it's going to re-render all of those files that way. Now, below the actual match timing algorithm stuff, we have the Smart Align button. And frankly, I don't know why you'd turn it off at this point, because it's just it makes everything better. Um, and then the two settings below that are the max shift, uh, which is the smart align. How far is it allowing it to shift to put it into the right place that it thinks is the right place? Normally, no limit is going to be totally fine. And then the dub pitch range is in case you have a really high pitched vocal, like opera singer pitched vocal or a low pitched vocal, like really low. Most things normal will be just fine for and you just leave it there. So I basically never change either of these two settings. So what Smart Align does is, let's take a look down here at the end of the session. We have these vocals here that when you look at the lead, there's a whole bunch of words there, but then these are only harmonized on one word or two words right in the middle. If I select this track, you'll see it populate up here so we can see it in here. And it automatically knows this is where it's supposed to align to the guide. It can detect where it's supposed to line up. So it doesn't try and stretch something too long to match all of the audio, and it doesn't try and put it to the beginning of the session. And it, uh, it knows where it's supposed to be. So it's really, really smart at knowing where to put the audio, which allows you to do one guide of the lead vocal all the way through the song, and then the dubs of each and every single harmony that's not on every line or double that's not that's only in the choruses, it'll align them all properly for you without you having to babysit that part and go through every single section line by line if that's where your harmonies are, which was a big pain before. So once you've set your settings, that's it. It's already aligned. It's already rendered out into the track. And if you play back your vocal at this point, 
you're gonna hear it. It's gonna be already done and aligned. Now the workflow that I would suggest is now that you've aligned them, bounce it in place to make a fresh new file, a fresh new track of all these different things so that you're not running Vocaline underneath. Then go through and listen to each and every one of these to, again, like I said, clean up any mistakes it made, grab the original file if you need to for breaths and things like that. You'll notice some things can sound a little digital, especially breaths. So you bounce this to a new track and then because you're not running Vocaline anymore and you just have the raw audio, you can manipulate it and fade the different things that need to be faded and patch up things that were a little glitchy with the original file because we saved that as a track alternative or a separate set of tracks because, well, it's good, it's not perfect. So that is a basic overview of a workflow with Vocaline Project 5 with ARA technology in Logic Pro X. I hope that gets you started and I hope you enjoy this plugin. Now, if you're watching this video when this comes out, Vocaline Project is actually on sale currently as a, at an introductory price for this brand new update. So go check that out up until this date on screen. But even if not, it's still a very reasonable price for the hours and hours and hours that this is going to save you and how great it does sound. But that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm also working on a vocal recording, comping, editing series. So go check that out on my channel. It is in Pro Tools, but a lot of the concepts still work for Logic users as well. Subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you in the next video. Until then, always be creating.